Is the doc 35 pages? We're not reading 35 pages, but we can we can dabble. There are 61 pages? Not to mention doxing his Discord tag? What? If I get accused of some insane bullshit, even if it's a total fabrication, if you guys start going, hashtag we're with harmful, we're your we're your followers, we're with you, link arms, I'm just gonna say, yeah, I did it. And the hashtag, stop doing that. I did it, I did it, please stop. I was unable to confirm or deny anything regarding the severity of the harassment against Jane Doe or who may have harassed her. I can only say at this point, I wish Jane Doe peace and happiness wherever she may be. Rest in peace, Jane Doe. May your harassers chase you slowly. A child sexual abuse victim is scared because attention has been brought to her. Everyone spread her story. Hello? Anyone home? She has never once asked her fans not to harass anyone. <laughs> Unlike Chugga Conroy. So, you guys remember the Chugga Conroy stuff. And we recently, additionally, looked at Chugga's response to it all. He kinda, he kinda pieced out and evaporated. Bunch of people accused him of various things. You know how it is. Uh, I believe Lady Emily is the one who accused him of pushing her into roleplay. There's that Lolly who was 15 when he was 19 and their conversation got a bit inappropriate. Anyway, anyway, Lady Emily's way of dealing with it was to share this. And what is this? It's some sort of Google document from one number one Tepig stan on Twitter. In regards to recent events surrounding Chugga, Lady Emily and others, I have to speak up about something. Harassment and hate speech at the hands of Astral Alchemist and her community. I hadn't heard about this person. Who are they? This has just been thrown in front of me now. I think I vaguely heard something about this. Someone was making fun of Lady Emily for uh, for her response to Chugger's self-defense being, Look, I'm under attack. Ah! But is, is, is Astral Alchemist... Is that a YouTuber? What is it? I want to know. <laughs> It'd be nice to see. It's an item in World of Warcraft. There's an Astral Alchemist stone. Let's go to Twitter. Is the doc 35 pages? We're not reading 35 pages, but we can we can dabble. Are they not at Astral Alchemist? Where the hell is this per Oh, I think I found them. They're the green they're the green um Wait. This is this is who's dangerous? So for context, we're going to look at a document that is about the harassment and hate speech of one Astral Alchemist in her community. Uh, this is Astral Alchemist, as far as I can tell. A 549 sub Let's Player. Let's see how terrifying they sound. Let's check out their latest video. And I'm recording this on the day that I should be uploading. Ha ha ha. Okay, who should I use? Um, I haven't done giving you Ice Punch or anything yet, so uh, actually you need some levels. I could this person and their entire family with one finger, I can tell from the voice. No one can be scared of this individual. No, I'm sorry. No one can be scared of this individual. They are an NPC you meet in a bar in a game of D&D who gets killed as a result of the party fighting, uh, having a bar brawl and a wayward chair or something hits them and they die. Apparently this is the person who is, uh... A great threat to Lady Emily. This is a friend's sister you don't know. She does sound exactly like this. So this is, I believe, um, the greatest threat to Lady Emily. She is a bit weird. This is weird, okay? This is weird. This isn't like, okay, maybe she is scary. But this is kind of weird. So this was, uh, this was on the 27th. It was after the dock, of course. Astral Alchemist posts, if you post something nice for Chugga, I'll retweet and eventually make a doc with all the positivity. Feel free to link clips to favorite moments too, or videos with the timestamp if you have any. Okay. Thanks for the positivity you give when we need it most. What are they do- what is this? Are these just Chugga stands? Is this a Chugga stand? It feels like it. 
Uh, they posted on the 26th. I thought a lot today. Took in the info I've been given and I've decided as the number or hashtag oriented positively. I'm not letting some twits taint it. I'll collect nice messages and put them in a doc. So write something nice to him in quotes or replies. Ah, so this is referring to a hashtag. I imagine before this will make sense, we need to look at the document. Let's take a peep. So Tepic Stan says, in regards to recent events surrounding Chugga, Lady Emily and others, I have to speak up about something. Harassment and hate speech at the hands of Astral Alchemist and her community. And uh, Lady Emily shared this. Perhaps it would be wise to look at that first. <laughs> what is going on with this stuff? Lady Emily, the one who was uh, pressured into shoe roleplay and had to accept free shoes from Chaga. Oh no, the horror. Uh, she retweeted what we're going to look at in a minute and said, I wasn't going to talk about the situation anymore. So this was on April 22nd. Wasn't going to talk about it anymore. But this document does a good job chronicling a lot of what I've had to experience the last few months and how toxic the overall community has been towards me in the interest of quote-unquote accountability. You wanted it for Chugga, come on. You wanted it for Chugga. It's disgusting and upsetting. Uh, in particular, the, my doxing, where mine and my parents' names, addresses, phone numbers were posted online, getting turned into a story of me doxing someone because I didn't blur out the usernames of a user who had been yelling at me in my mentions for months is particularly... I don't care. Uh, I genuinely hope that Jane Doe is doing well and safe, and I'm sorry for what happened to them in the... How invested are these people in the minutia of these internet personalities. Do her followers, do her followers blindly just go, yas, queen, yas, or do they all know what the hell is being talked about here? Genuinely hope Jane do, Jane Doe, sorry, Jane Doe is doing well, and safe, presumably the person she uh, was doxxed by and didn't blur out perhaps. Trying to turn this into a harassment movement against me, especially by continuing to share their personal details to do so is shockingly disgusting. Oh. This went from, you're trying to turn it into me doxing someone because I didn't blur out the username of a user who's been yelling at her. Was that the person who doxed you or not? And now it's people who are continuing to share their personal details. So did you share personal details originally? Or what? It's just a small sample of the stuff I've had to deal with this week, by the way. Just to give a frame of reference for what it's been like day after day after day. <laughs> Gonna dream tonight commented, You murdered Chugga Conroy. <laughs> Liars have even been promised cruel and eternal punishment. Dante, in his Inferno, hurled them into the eighth circle of hell, along with other falsifiers, putting them one moral step below violent offenders. That's fucking sick. That's a cool comment. I'd like some of these, please. That's cool. Boo! Tomatoes. Why would you dox someone? What is wrong with you? Ah, my skin. Oh no. Do an RP when you detransition, Lamau. <laughs> is Lady Emily trans? TikTok Emily the Horde is coming for you. <laughs> nice hole. I promise to not harass you. <laughs> oh. By the way, even though you baselessly shamed a beloved autistic YouTuber with existing mental health problems and almost drove him to suicide because he just kind of felt like it, and now refuse to even acknowledge your wrongdoing. Fair comment? Yeah, that's fine. This isn't getting into the weird multi-hour streams full of people calling me evil, saying it's fine to be attracted to children's figures. What? The, f the figure of a child? Or like children's action figures and that it's morally fine for a 19 year old to date and flirt with a 14 year old that's not my take and people hate me for it <laughs> people don't like it they can't they can't handle my uh my puritanism literally every move i've made this past few months has been documented shared hyper analyzed i doubt it they're not talking about people like me because look, and attacked by the very same crowd trying to present an aura of positivity and anti-harassment. That's not me, or anyone who's anything like me. An anti-cancel culture. People get mad if I say nothing, and get mad if I say anything. Please leave me alone. 
this situation should be over. Nothing good will come from this. My entertainment is a moral good, so I'm hoping the harassment document is funny. Everyone wants to move on. Yelling at me will benefit no one. <laughs> You'll just be sending harassment towards an autistic trans woman online in the interest of accountability. Hey, I'm a freak and I post it everywhere and I try and fuck people up online. Um, don't talk about me because I'm autistic and trans. Does this work still? Does this still work? Hi, I want to be a public figure. That means you can only say good things about me. I do want to send Emil my regards. Thanks again for the shoes. No. And hope for his improvement and congratulate him on taking the steps to recover. Steps he needs to take in his uh, Super Mario Sticker Star shoes. I'm genuinely so sorry for the mental distress caused by all this. And hope you can come out of this better and healthier than before. Stronger. Yeah, but how will you be able to stop him from taking your shoes if he's stronger? With that in mind, this will hopefully be the last time I ever talk about this. And hopefully everything can be laid to rest and over and done soon. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me exist and be better to each other. I don't really remember what the point of her sharing the Chugga stuff was. Because you, you read it and it's, hey, she baited free shoes and then went along with roleplay enthusiastically. And then one time... When Chugga wasn't getting responses, he sent a few messages in a row, and that was called harassment. You posted that online? You looked like a weirdo online. People are calling you a weirdo, right? Enjoy the fruits. If you want to go, other people talking about someone who puts themselves out there, what you talk about, what you say, you're responsible for people's response. The, the influence that has on people. Okay. Go ahead and have that standard. I think if what then if what you put out influences people to hate you and say stuff about you, you are as responsible as someone else talking about you. You are responsible for the effect of you talking about yourself. It's not magic. But of course, like it's not it's not a position arrived at through rational thought. It's just what's most convenient and what based on existing social standards and existing beliefs of an audience, what can I say that puts me in the best position possible? If I say something and people hate me because of the impression I give them of myself, um, I'm a victim of the people who hate me. If someone else says something about me or shares what I've said, they're responsible for that as well. Not me. Weird. Weird combo. I'm a bit scared to open this. I hope someone was, uh, joking when they said it was 35 pages long. Mother of Christ. Okay. Like, what is the, what is the standard of you are responsible for the effects of media you publish unless it's about yourself or unless the effect of the media you publish is negativity towards yourself? Why is that an exception? You post something, and it makes people hate another person, you're responsible. That person posts something, and it makes people hate them, they're not respon- Why not? What's special? Anyway, that annoys me a bit. Harassment and hate speech at the hands of Astral Alchemist and her community. Harassment and hate at this person's hands. Let's get a sample of who this person is. Oh my god, Rhonda! Chinese oh my god, she looks so dope! Hey, I love her! Doesn't look too happy. Hold on, hold on. Why are there two of you? Oh, she's happy now. Why are there two of you? But this is the woman to be afraid of. And they don't talk. Right. I formally accuse Astral Alchemist. This is a, a legal document. This is, this is a legally binding accusation. All right. Um, oh god, that first one, CSK, that's Ko. I formally accuse Astral Alchemist of inciting harassment against me by her community. Hmm. This is because they perceived me to be an enemy 
in their campaign to spin Chugga Conroy as purely innocent in the recent allegations against him. Sorry, towards number one Tepigstan? Who the th hell is this? Ah! Bluey! It's a Bluey hold individual. It's a dog fucker. Dog, you have 51 followers. I don't think enough people know you exist to harass you. The Sean retweet? Okay. I think this gives us a picture of their perspective on harassment. All right. Someone was like, what is this? What is this three viewer internet drama? Yeah, that's what we do here. I like, it's like, you've never, you never as a kid, like, fucked around with ants. You never fucked with ants as a kid? This is the internet version of that. It's fun. Before I start, there will be repeated mentions of Astral Alchemist and others calling Lady Emily a liar in relation to the Chugga situation. I think they're wrong, if I remember correctly. My impression was that Lady Emily was telling the truth, but also, who cares? It's like finding a small restaurant that no one knows about. Not quite as, as far as that, but... Hmm. Every video I'm autistic now what does is worth reacting to. Yeah, but I don't want to just, like... There's a point where I'm just, like, repackaging her content. If something sticks out and I feel like I really have something to say about it, I'll look at her video or whatever. Anyway. Continue? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Da -da -da. I want to remind everyone that Chugga himself still stands by his previous apology from January and takes responsibility for what he has done. Yeah, given some trans ho free shoes. None of this or anything else that was stated is enough to justify a smear campaign against Lady Emily. Anyone engaging in anyone engaging in rhetoric actively attacking Lady Emily is doing so against the wishes of everyone involved. Who gives a shit? Who cares? Do these people genuinely abide by the wishes of YouTubers? I mean, I guess they do. I've seen it in action many times. Dog, what? Bitumen? Yeah, I know it's B. Bitumen. Bitumen? Stop typing Japanese! It makes me read it. No. This is by number one Tepikstan. Some Twitter random. However, this was shared by Lady Emily as a way to show people uh, how much of a victim she is. So it is, uh, it is co-signed by Lady Emily. It is co-signed by Lady Emily. I'm immune to that CSK. I don't know any kanji. In reference, here is the section from his recent statement stating he still recognizes his behavior was harmful to Lady Emily. Yeah, yeah, I don't retract any apology about hurting her or pestering her for a reply. Oh no, pestering for a reply on Discord. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop Japaning! Nothing I've said changes that I did that. I just felt this important context was left out. This is what I was working with and why I was so comfortable doing this. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Right. A brief introduction to Astral Alchemist. It's just that, oh, I'm learning basic Japanese and I've trained on the, uh, trained on Duolingo to, to read Katakana and Hiragana. So when it pops up, I start reading it and I read still quite slowly. So it's like, it's like you sending me a virus. It's like a virus in chat that I can't ignore. Nightmare. Nightmare. Hell. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to do it. Right. Astral Alchemist is one of Chugga's biggest defenders in the hashtag We Are With Chugga Conroy movement. Ah, uh, okay. So that's what Astral uh, Alchemist was talking about on their feed, about how proud they are of the hashtag. This shit is the worst. This is so bad. I hate it. I like looking at it, but I hate that this is something people do. I feel that it degrades me as an individual just through my association by virtue of also being a human being and these, you know, which these people also are. It began with rhetoric such as the following after Lady Emily's first statement and Chugga's first apology. To the morons not doing their research and telling me being neurodiverse isn't an excuse, no. It isn't. But Emil is an innocent man who happens to be on the autistic spectrum. Women can make false accusations. Men can be innocent. Defend the right person. I think Lady Emily told the truth. 
but also that the truth isn't anything anyone should care about. Right? What I see is the internet bullying a neurodivergent person into apologizing for being ghosted. And uh, apologizing for being ghosted. That's too much spin. Apologize, apologizing for like sending a few messages when he wasn't responded to, whatever. Maybe not, in, uh, and another, maybe not intentionally humiliating him across the web. This has gone too far. Not to mention doxing his Discord tag. What? Discord tag is just your like at on Discord, yes? Come on. We calling that PII now? We calling that PII that if you post it, it counts as dox now? Are we really? Help, I've been Twitter doxed at Harmful Opinions. Ah! Ah! I hate how posts like this get so many likes. Completely missing the point. Emil is an insult. Oh, sorry. Emily is an insult to true victims. She shot herself in the foot. Stop with the puns. Uh, by confirming he was communicating with her to make sure there wasn't a misunderstanding, only to claim he sexually harassed her. Yeah, she claimed she felt pr pushed into it. I think the harassment claim wasn't sexual harassment. If I remember, if I'm, if I'm, I'm, I'm scraping my brain. She was like, he was pestering me when she ghosted him and he sent a few messages. But regardless, she claimed sexual harassment. Yeah, okay. Astral Alchemist is just correct. That's BS. That's bullshit. Man, I don't even think Chugger himself wants this. You people hate victims, want to nitpick them for every little thing, such as, you know, their claim being fundamentally false, and try your hardest to find a way your favorite creator is actually 100% innocent. The hashtag is lame as hell. Especially, you can you can shoot down claims, you can disagree with the claim, and you'd be like, actually, Chug is not in the wrong for this, whatever. The we are with you thing is like a is like an attempt at like a forced association. We support you! Link arms with me, Chugga! Hold my hand, Chugga! Fuck off. <laughs> it's vile. Disgusting. They're right regarding Lady Emily, but it's... Ugh, makes my skin crawl. <laughs> Link toes with me. If I get accused of some insane bullshit, even if it's a total fabrication, some random person I've never met says I, like, fisted them on a bus. If you guys start going, hashtag we're with harmful, we're your, we're your followers, we're with you, link arms. I'm just going to say, yeah, I did it. And the hashtag, stop doing that. I did it. I did it. Please stop. <laughs> like, you run a Stellar Blade style petition to defend me and you post videos like that. Fine, I'm a rapist. <laughs> just stop. Of course, many of the earlier tweets. Oh. Speaking of Stellar Blade, I didn't realize um, Tencent owned a bunch of shares. Anyway, I should have expected it. Earlier tweets were to denounce Lady Emily and her statement as a bunch of lies. Remember, at this point, Chugga took responsibility for what happened. I'm not seeing claims of lies here yet. Maybe they'll show it to us. Hmm. Was she construed as the internet bullying a neurodivergent person into apologizing? Yeah, probably. And let us note that she at the time was fully on board with supporting those that sent vitriol directly to Lady Emily. So this person tweeted at Lady Emily, So you're just mad because you didn't set a boundary after saying you're fine with the way he talks. Vitriol? God, it's too soft, man. If I was gonna, if this was gonna be morphed into, what is the, what is the violence equivalent of this? It's having a piece of, like, soggy tofu thrown at you. This is not vitriol. The thing that Astral Alchemist posted even this early on made their way to Lady Emily. Oh no! So much that Lady Emily blocked her. And look at how Astral Alchemist responded to that. Just seen this. Pa, you can't defend yourself so you just block. Pathetic. I've never added her. Okay. So, she must have been triggered by my defense of Emil and calling out her BS. Hashtag, we are with Chugga Conroy. Okay, what have they done wrong then? It sounds worse than like they're talking about royalty. It's like they're talking about a... A tribal leader. It's, 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 al it's almost more 
than royalty because you don't necessarily look to even if you accept royalty and and support them and and want them to exist and view them as the the highest class or whatever you don't necessarily look to them for moral guidance right you you still might have uh the the <laughs> clergy who you look to instead this is like woo god emperor lady emily to give credit Astral Alchemist has not been overly hateful of Lady Emily the entire time. She at least tries to respect Chugga's wishes. So even this person wants his wishes to be respected? My behavior is moderated in relation to the wishes of content creators. Stop it. And engages with those following her hashtag with this message. Bedtime again. As Chugga said. It's like they're quoting the Bible. As Chugga said. Please don't attack Emily. Call her out, yes, but do it civilly. No ad hominems. Trolling, etc. Be the same for her followers. Don't be hypocrites. Chugga has been very mature. Much like Lolly when she was 15. <laughs> let him be an example. And let's honor him. This is genuinely terrifying. This messes me up. This makes me want to leave in case I'm doing this to people. Recall that Chugga, in his apology, told everyone to treat Lady Emily with respect. A lot of this was early on, and many people had conflicting emotions at the time about everything. But we will see shortly whether or not she holds up to Chugga's wishes on the matter. My situation. Good. Time to learn about Tepig. We honor you, Mr. Morrison. It's fine. I am already honored by the annual Tim Morrison mini golf tournament in Cayuga. Is it in Cayuga? Well, it's in Auburn, I think. Whatever. In New York. Uh, that is in memory of my late father. I am honored by mini golf. You don't have to honor me. Don't worry. Look it up. It's real. My situation. To begin with, she posted a thread about condemning harassment and how constantly calling out somebody for their mistakes, etc. is still harassment. Not a public figure. Nah. Nope, I disagree. They're pumping out media. Your presence online is media. Talking about your mistakes that you published online is like talking about a book. You decided to have your media wear your skin. It's not like you're standing in the park and someone is like bitching at you. No, it's not like that. People try to, like, analogize like that sometimes. No, it's them talking about media you've put onto the internet. You do not- you are not in the Matrix. You are not standing there on Twitter. It is not analogous to someone bothering you in real life. It is not. However, having been aware of her history for the past several months as the Spearheader- The Spearheader! Just call her the Spearhead. Of the We Are With Chugga Conroy MOVEMENT! I quoted her with this. Quote, Constantly calling someone out for their mistakes is still harassment. Constantly engages in calling Lady Emily a frequent liar. Uh, is Astral Alchemist notifying this Emily person in any way? Talking about someone who posts things publicly too much is harassment. Shut up. Go away. Stupid. Dumb. Here is a sample of her posts and likes where she tries to honor Chugga's example. But he made sure it was for fun? Yeah, but he lied. Okay, can you prove that? He asked for pics once, which he obliged to, to see the gift he gave her. Oh, but it was clearly meant as harassment. I'm actually seeing conversations like this, and I'm sorry, but what? Sorry, this is harassment of Lady Emily. If they can believe he can lie, why is it so hard for them to believe that she can lie? This is the standard for harassment. Discussion of someone and their public behavior that doesn't even name them. Harassment. To start with, for the past several months, she has been promoting the narrative that Lady Emily is a liar and a fraud. Purely because she does not believe Lady Emily's claim of sexual harassment. Yeah, that'd be why you do it. She said Lady Emily is a liar just because she believes that Lady Emily isn't telling the truth. Yes, that's why you call someone a liar. My G, why else would you call someone a liar? That's the, that's the reason to do so. I don't encourage harassment, but you've never asked your followers to stop. 
who is she talking to? Sir Dode, I guess. Or to her... Like, it's self-reply, but there's also Sir Dode prior to whatever she's replying to herself for. Uh, all you're doing is proving that you're doing this for attention and not as a quote-unquote victim. It's pathetic. Stop trying to ruin people's lives. We all know you've tried this before. We're not falling for it. Okay. I think actually it's okay to insult people online, but also who is who is the, who is this Sir Dode person? Sir Dode is just some random guy who does a bit of art. Okay, talking about what's going on on social media with a random other person. Not harassment. I'm sorry. Lady Emily is essentially called a fake victim. Fine, and spun as an evil and evil person. Fine. We will revisit the context of this later on. No, this is something I missed. So if you remember, Chugga Conroy put out a self-defense document. I believe around the same time after that, or, or just before something, Lady Emily retweeted this weirdo's document about harassment of Lady Emily and harassment of this weirdo, this uh, random person on Twitter. And it's uh, fascinating. A look into what apparently... Thousands of people who support this, uh, or who, are, who are impressed by this document and agree with its assessment of things, uh, judging by their support of Lady Emily sharing it, this is what thousands of people think qualifies as, you know, unacceptable harassment. Some random person, Marlux Marluxia is a girl. I have read Emile's statement and, at Lady Emily, you owe this man an apology, not some fake-ass YouTuber apology, a legitimate apology because your entire campaign was just disproven with more context. You're lucky that there's not defamation suit. Even though Astral Alchemist condemns harassment, she likes this tweet. She likes tweets that engage in it. What, like this one? So? Oh my god. She puts out a statement to the world, a piece of media to the world. Someone responded to it. Not harassment. Not even abuse. You could have said something really extreme and been abusive, maybe. Not even that. Certainly not harassment. Hopefully everyone can understand and realize that Lady Emily and others lied about Chugga. You're wrong. I think she told the truth, but was mischaracterizing it, but whatever. Honestly, it's sick how people couldn't see the bigger picture, but now look how stupid everyone who defended them look now. And finally, she supports the belief that anyone who ever had an opinion contradicted to hers and her followers is stupid. Deal with it. Uh, because they dared to believe the words of Lady Emily and anyone else that spoke up. <laughs> the only person this enthusiastic about a creature like Chugga are his own socks. These can't be real. I think they are. I think the buff you get when you are a weirdo autist, and I think I've experienced this to some degree, but I'm not enough of a weirdo autist to have it to this level, you act as a bit of a magnet for similar people. When you are like a weirdo Nintendo, like an extreme Nintendo autist, like an obsessive Nintendo autist, you're a magnet for other obsessive autists, but then you are their special interest instead of it being Nintendo. So I think Chugga magnets in these hyper-focus freaks, and they focus on him instead of Nintendo like he focuses on, if you get what I'm suggesting. All of these are blatant examples of hate speech? Stop! This is like a bit. Hate speech is when you hate someone and talk about them against Lady Emily, an encouragement of harassment towards Lady Emily simply because she wants to defend Chugga. It wasn't until hours later that she finally gave a response via quote retweet. Am I saying you're an autist for me? No, I don't think I'm at the level where I have followers who are like hyper-obsessed Nintendo autists towards me. I think I have some magnetic power towards similar autists to me. Maybe a bit of a contrarian vibe, cynical, with digging deep into things but not having one focus. Having like periods of getting hyper-focused on one thing or another thing, or another thing. So I, I magnet people who are a bit like me, and Chugga magnets people who are also <laughs> hyper-focus, single, like mono-focus autists who get focused on him. And I think that's why you have these, these wars and these clashes.
And I think that's why you see it around you see it around Nintendo content creators and you see it around Minecraft content creators for a reason. For a reason. All these are blatant examples of hate speech against Lady Emily and encouragement of harassment towards Lady Emily simply because she wants to defend Chugger. It wasn't until hours later that she finally gave a response via quote retweet. True Scappy, I feel that in the past there have been people who were like a bit too into what I'm doing, and maybe a bit too bit too into me. Not so much anymore. If there are any millionaires listening, listening. If there are any millionaires with uh, obsessive autism, feel free to uh, give me some of that oil prince money. Sure. Just don't kill me and wear my skin. I don't want that level of obsession. It would be nice to have some of the chugger obsession. Okay. What is this person trying to prove? Chinese star fed the streamer a two dollar superberry. I will admit I feel the candid W is legend. Fair enough. I wouldn't call it a W. Bro, dog. W in that CEO said harmful opinions is God, okay? As architected by Bering. She sold her startup. The intention of which from the start obviously was to, you know, sell, as it typically is. Got the bag, moved on to Amazon. She went from Google to doing her own thing, sold it to Uber, went to Amazon, and is now doing her own thing again. That's not a W for us, bro. <laughs> Retweeted by the likes of Elon Musk. Right? Ooh! Christ. I shouldn't have mentioned the old days. Oh, damn. That's an old day thing. The best old days spam was when I played Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. Curious girl. Lol, lol, lol. Lol, lol, lol. Uh, what is this person trying to prove? She is a liar, yes. I was saying this to people who are calling Chugga a liar without any evidence, when there's so much evidence against her. Never have I once endorsed anyone to harass her. Does this count as straw manning? Notice how she totally ignored the point that I made. You haven't shown me your point. Is this the point? I totally ignored the point you made too, because I don't see it. Is it up here? What are you doing? Imagine there are 61 pages. You take the time to put together a 61 page document and this is a mess. She totally ignored the point that I made. I stated that while she condemns harassment by her own definition of harassment. How did, how did she define harassment? Uh, she said something could still be harassment. We're talking about this shit back here. Yeah, constantly calling out somebody for their mistakes, etc. is still harassment. What is... What do people mean by calling out, anyway? Japanese for seven? I don't know the numbers yet. I don't know the numbers yet. You know? Think about it. Ichi. Ni. San. Eight is Hachi. I don't know. It's not coming. It's not coming to me. Ju? Oh, Nana. Na 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 na. Yes, because of the text to speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is seven just na or is seven na na? Our own definition of harassment, she's been engaging in harassment of Lady Emily by constantly pinning Lady Emily as a fraud. Instead, she reframes the argument into Emily lied, Chugga did not. So naturally, I had to spell it out for her. It's okay for Emily to be called a liar, but it's not okay for Chugga to be called a liar. These people aren't even engaging with each other's arguments. They're at such a low level of functioning that they can't understand each other and they're probably going to morb their arguments. I understand Astral Alchemist to be saying, yeah, I said something, but it was in response to saying Chug is a liar, so it's not like I was going at her. It was a response to someone else's commentary on the situation, right? It's not like targeted harassment or something, so it's different, right? It's okay to constantly attack Emily when it's not okay to constantly attack Chugga, I guess. I think Astral Alchemist is saying both is okay. This is not a matter of evidence, but your own definition of harassment. If you cannot even hold yourself accountable for your own actions, why should people listen to what you say? Because the validity of a statement isn't, isn't contingent on uh, someone being a hypocrite or not. Unfortunately, it was at this time when a community attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Stop. 
stop. And that's when the Emily Nation, sorry, the anti Emily Nation attacked. My harassment as a result of Astral Alchemist's actions. Here I will illustrate the types of messages I received from Astral Alchemist's followers after her quote tweet. Criticism is not harassment, you simp. Yeah, you, you put out a public message on a site with the functionality to let people share it and add their own message in response. And they did that. What is my response meant to be? Am I meant to see this and go, Oh my god! Oh! Oh! You didn't have to. Your actions along with the rest of the Twitter cancel mob prove that you have a very strong hero complex. You see someone getting put on blast and think it's morally correct to jump right into the fray without doing any further digging. My eyes would... This is a response to me. My eyes would flicker over and I'd just be like, whatever, dude. Carry reading. Like, I don't get... This is like a standout comment for these people. This hits them in the heart. Your mistress, Emily. If one such as you cannot see the forest for the trees, then you have no right to call out Let's Lay Plays for anything. I swear people like you are sociopathic in your hatedom <laughs> that others just don't want to put up with it. As shown above, many of the replies have been made in bad faith! Shut up forever! Literally staple your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Resorting immediately to name-calling. Calling me things like... Simp. They called me names in bad faith. What does that mean? What is good faith calling someone a name? Is this... Like, they don't actually... Be, they don't actually mean it? They're saying it to be manipulative? They're not genuinely engaging? They don't think you're a simp? Like, what do you mean? The Twitter cancel mob. And sociopathic were calling Lady Emily my mistress. Oh, that one really stuck. That run really stuck in your craw, huh? The messages I received were only intended to be hurtful, nothing more and nothing less. Oh, bad faith. Nasty. Just, just call it nasty. Literally just call it nasty. You cannot debate that these messages are har- Wait, you cannot debate that these messages are harassment of myself? Especially since they are personal insults instead of any form of persuasive argument. No, Chinese star. Bad faith can be used interchangeably with uh, disingenuous sometimes. That's, that's one definition. The other use of it is for when someone pretends that they're willing to engage with you in a negotiation or argument, but they actually have no intention of engaging or compromising or, you know... Um, I, I guess a classic example would be you want a raise... Your boss invites you to discuss it, but actually they have no intention of giving you a raise whatsoever. They just want to give the appearance of that so you'll settle down about it. That would be agreeing to discuss it in bad faith, for instance. So if you go into a debate, but my only intention is to make you look stupid, is that bad faith? I think it depends. I think it's only bad faith if you... Give the impression or agree that you're going there to be constructive. It has to involve a pretense that you're there uh, to, be, to be constructive, right? And that you're there to compromise and find common ground. If you give that impression or, or state that, but actually have no intention to do that, and you're trying to, you're sort of trying to take advantage of the other person agreeing to those terms, while you yourself are not actually, don't actually have your heart in it, that would be like a manipulation. If you have decided, I'm going to go in here and just fucking call people names. And you give no impression otherwise. You're just being a cunt. That's different to being bad faith. Oh. Because if you, if you call just being disruptive, any disruptive, any nastiness, bad faith, you just have another word for someone being an asshole. And then what do you call the specific scenario outlined before, where someone gives the impression that they're willing to compromise and engage, but they aren't actually, and they're doing that strategically? That's a specific thing that happens. You would then need a new word for that, to describe it if you want a word. Yeah. The messages I received were only intended to be hurtful. Nothing more, nothing less. You cannot debate that these messages are harassment of myself. I can. 
I think the barrier for a public figure is way higher. Now you might say, hey, this person has a tiny number of followers. I am fucking sicko goblin mode. Insofar as your engagement on a public platform goes, engagement with you there should be treated as if you are a public figure. So making an account doesn't make you a public figure in all contexts, but the standards that apply to public figures should apply to an account on social media, a public account on social media. It should be treated the same as, as a public figure, regardless of your following. Because otherwise, compare it to like other published media. Someone put out a book, but they don't have enough fans, so shitting on their book is harassment? Nah, nah. Tweets are just like little shit books <laughs> that you can fart out constantly. It's media. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Message of harassment of myself, especially since they are personal insults instead of any form of persuasive argument. Furthermore, I am not even a fan of Lady Emily. I had not heard of her until this past January. Others attempt to refute my observations by splitting hairs. One action is harassment while the other is condemnation. None of this is clearly defined. If you need to split hairs, like, how bad could it be? Anyway, right? And rather than refining their arguments, they fall back on group support. Here is one of my harassers dismissing my argument and inserting the hashtag as if to rally supporters to reinforce their stance. The bat signal. This is nostalgic. This is nostalgic as hell. And yet just a few days earlier, they were directly pinging Lady Emily in order to chastise her and force out a statement. The timing of the tweet is soon after Chugga's statement was released, in which he stated he wanted no one to harass or attack anyone involved. In bold. It's not harassment, it's called condemnation. Emily's entire case was disproven with better evidence. Warida. I read Emil's statement and, okay... Oh no, a 26 liked tweet that is opposed to me. Uh, uh. And before you say that Astro Alchemist does not condone harassment, she knew the type of vitriol her fans were sending me. Ooh. She has liked multiple of their posts and even responded to some of them mocking me in a juvenile manner. Childish mockery. The true plague on the internet. Leading people to uh, bully side. I get that I have a, an untypical perspective on online engagement. I get that I take it a lot less seriously, especially than like the average person. But I think that even for the average person, this is some pretty piss-weak stuff. Like, your grandma isn't going to see this and think it's horrible. The most out-of-touch, non-technologically gifted boomer isn't even going to think this is abuse or asthma or anything. Like the boomer who, when they see five likes, the boomer who, like, imagines five people in a room looking at them when they see five likes, isn't intimidated by this. I have not seen any formal statement from Astral Alchemist saying that she condemns her followers that have harassed me! Nor have I received an apology from her for what she incited against me. I'm good. <laughs> Oh my god. As a result, this puts into question how Astral Alchemist truly defines harassment and whether she condones it or not. To be clear, I support all harassment and all crimes and all violence. Astral Alchemist on the topic of harassment, to start things off, we already know she does not condone holding people accountable and says that it only encourages harassment. DJ Rommel, the blue-purple furry, I want the message to be gotten by everyone as harassment is not the answer. I never called for harassment. But holding her accountable makes things worse too. Want to make her learn her lesson? Just stop saying stuff like this. It only encourages harassment and Emil asked us to leave them alone. Emphasis on the alone. I don't get it. Sure, Astral Alchemist is a weirdo. Fine. However, when someone points out how her actions can also be construed as harassment based on the same principles, she refuses to entertain the thought and immediately defends herself, saying it's okay to condemn someone for actions but not mistakes. What? Yeah, that is dumb. The point is that you have said constantly calling someone out for the mistakes is harassment. However, this is behavior you have committed against Lady Emily. Therefore, under your own logic, you have harassed her. It's that simple. Okay, I never called her out for her mistakes, but for her actions. This is absolutely 
sneered vacuous pedantry to a level I have not seen since I was probably 12. I'm actually, I said, calling someone out for their mistakes is harassment. I was calling her out for her actions. I've never directed my tweets to her, but to her blind defenders who were attacking an innocent man. That point is good, though. That point is good, though. That's the key part of this, I would say. You really don't have a point, sorry? And yes, it's harassment when you keep adding them. I never have. Bye-bye. Hello, OP of this document. Do you understand? That's the key part. Yes. She and several of her followers have fully committed. Themselves. Also, the Astral Alchemist is blocked. Even if they at, they're not directly contacting. Now, if they at and then someone responds, that then sort of gets around the block. But this person isn't being inconsistent. And yes, of course, Hex, I agree with that. But even in the context of the standards being set here, Astral Alchemist is not a hypocrite, even. She and several of her followers have fully convinced themselves that, since Lady Emily is lying about her experience, she deserves the hate speech that clearly targets her. Once again, Chugga himself does not support targeting Lady Emily. As a result, we see the twisted definition of what Astral Alchemist truly considers harassment. Attacks based on perceived lies are to be scorned, but attacks based on perceived truths are to be praised. No. You have the tweet here. Astral Alchemist says when you at them with it, it's harassment. If you're just talking about someone, it's not. You moron. You can argue against it, but you're, not, you're just not engaging with it. Which is why she was so lax about the harassment her fans committed against me. Sorry, I missed this point. Because I stream, maybe I don't see the same interface as you guys on social media. When you sign up, do you have to sort of pledge yourself to a content creator? And then that content creator has moderation control over your account? What is being talked about here? To lend credence to this, as stated earlier, Astral Alchemist liked a tweet from one of her followers harassing Lady Emily directly. Oh no. Likes are harassment. Of course, Astral Alchemist is also not innocent of mistruths. Mm, sorry, this document is harassment? Here is her liking a tweet from one of her followers stating as fact that Lady Emily doxed someone, something that I could not find any credence to online. No, it isn't. She literally doxed our Jane Doe. What are we talking about? Who has now had to go into hiding. They want us dead. Uh, Emily is a doxer, no ifs, ands, or buts. Also, the fact she clearly has taken nothing away from this proves she never is going to change, so there is no defending her. She will never learn. Yeah, thank you. Who is the Jane Doe and how is she relevant? Thank you for giving me this info. For those who are unaware of the Jane Doe situation, yep, thank you. I'll provide a brief summary. It all started... There is a... By the way, there is a section titled, uh, The Transphobe. As well as how afraid she was for herself and her family after they were doxxed. Okay. It feels like almost every day now I get sent messages from someone telling me what a piece of shit I am, or wishing me dead, or telling me to kill myself after what all happened in January. And not gonna lie, I think it's starting to get to me. Or has been getting to me more than I let on. How? I didn't mention this publicly. A, a childbearing scrotum. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that phrase, I regret unleashing that into the world uh, publicly but in the aftermath of all that I got doxxed my dad's phone number and address were posted online my mom's full name, phone number and address were posted online which is wild because she's been dead for 13 years so good luck with that info don't say this unless you're a moron I would like to suggest that saying this is really stupid hey guys my docs are out there just don't acknowledge it don't acknowledge it, and certainly don't acknowledge its accuracy. I don't know, man. Shit's just scary. Sorry if I've been posting too much about things other than YouTube or work, or about what happened, because quite frankly, it's so hard to focus after dealing with, uh... All that. Uh, notice there was nothing directly mentioning Chugga, except for alluding to the discourse from January. Then in came Mr. Dode, who quotes Lady M... Here he is again! Who quote tweets Lady Emily's tweet saying that while they did not condone the doxing, they would continue to let the information on the situation be known and let her actions and her omission of information be known. Okay. 
I don't celebrate this. I completely disavow the people who did say this. I will continue to let the information on the situation be known, and let her actions and her omission of information be known, but this is never condonable, and cannot be allowed to be tolerated. Of course, this was not taken well by Lady Emily. Of course. As the message accused her directly of misinformation, and in her frustration, Lady Emily responded by calling out their obvious hostility towards her, and how the hateful things they have said about her was part of why she felt attacked and afraid. No, sorry, you can't say disavow it while still contributing to this overall culture of harassment and misinformation. You are responsible for the behavior of others if I deem your actions to contribute to a culture of their behavior. By the way, I'm not guilty, though. Stupid. Literally, no values. They don't even have... A, a set of values forged from selfishness. They use the idea that they believe something or there are truths about the world as a tool in the moment. They just say whatever benefits in them in the moment. You can't spread lies about me, call me evil, say I deserve a call-out post and tweet almost exclusively about me and say you disavow this stuff. Just did. It just did. Her screenshots, unfortunately, Included the username of Jane Doe. <laughs> By Mr. Doge claims, some of Lady Emily's fans harassed Jane Doe. Sorry, is so uh, where? So some of the guys on the other side of this consider sharing a screenshot of someone's tweets to be doxing. Am I understanding to? By Mr. Doge's claim, some of Lady Emily's fans harassed Jane Doe. To the point that she deleted her Twitter account. Why? Because she was a victim of child sexual abuse. And fled because she was afraid the negative attention could lead her abusers to her location. Note 1. There is no reason to assume Lady Emily knew this Jane Doe was a child sexual assault victim beforehand, nor is there any reason to believe Jane Doe was directly targeted by Lady Emily in this tweet. But if she was, sharing the screenshot would be wrong. This tweet is clearly focused on Mr. Doad themselves, so anyone saying that Lady Emily targeted Jane Doe is spreading misinformation. These are the people who are going to decide what the AI that will control our lives flags as lies or truth. I'd just like you to be aware of this, okay? I guess Circle Lurk, yeah. They'll see the username and go, hmm, that sounds like a username that kid I raped would pick. <laughs> and then, then go find her? I don't know. I, I really don't understand. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the most information I have found in regard to if Lady Emily doxed Jane Doe. If the claim that Lady Emily doxed Jane Doe comes from sharing a public username, that does not constitute doxing, which is defined as disclosing personally, inter uh, personally identifying information. Partially. Partially. I was unable to confirm or deny anything regarding the severity of the harassment against Jane Doe or who may have harassed her. I can only say at this point, I wish Jane Doe peace and happiness wherever she may be. Rest in peace, Jane Doe. <laughs> may your harassers chase you slowly. After the account was deleted, the whole event was advertised by Astro Alchemist, advertised, and others, with permission from Mr. Dode and Jane Doe. So Emily has decided to join a thread of small ex-users. She needs to stop acting like this is giving evidence. Sorry. So this side is demented and insane about harassment, and the other side is perhaps even more insane. Emily has decided to join a thread of small ex-users. She needs to stop. Acting like this is giving evidence that she's doing this for attention, and now her followers are sending abhorrent tweets to them. Evidence below. She was never tagged. Responding to a thread of users with less followers than you is harassment. That's good, though. That's ideal. Why are you on Twitter if not to get attention? Thank you to all who shared this. Teal dear, Lady Emily's action has brought attention to a child sexual assault victim who is now in hiding in case any of her abusers find her. I want to see this explained in detail, how this works. Let her story be known. 
A child sexual abuse victim is scared because attention has been brought to her. Everyone spread her story. Hello? Anyone home? She needs our help and to be heard, share this. Proof below. She's scared that her abusers will find out she's around here. Let's just spread her story far and wide. I believe her. You don't have to, but that doesn't change the fact that Emily's actions may have put a child sexual assault victim in danger. She has never once asked her fans not to harass anyone. <laughs> Unlike Chugger Conroy. What she is doing is abhorrent, disgusting, and needs to be known and called out. This is going by faster than I expected, damn. Notice the last bit, though, in which she says it needs to be called out. This very clearly blames Lady Emily for the entire situation. Yeah, when in reality the situation would not have happened if it weren't for multiple people, not just Mr. Dode, spewing animosity towards her for sharing her experiences from the past several months. Right, sure. And people wouldn't have been talking about Lady Emily if she hadn't posted about Chugger Conroy. It's a chain. If we're going to go that far, apply it. Nothing's, nothing's gone wrong, dear. It's okay for people to argue and talk about each other online. It's fine. And even then, that would not have happened if she hadn't received messages from people telling her to kill herself or doxing her family. Someone sent a message that says, kill yourself to me, and I am no longer responsible for my actions. But also, she did do nothing wrong. I'm just saying within the context of these people's values. Right? Behaviors that clearly stem from the sentiments of malice against Lady Emily since January. Stem from the sentiments of malice. There is an argument about whether Lady Emily incited harassment against Jane Doe from this. In that respect, then it is entirely valid for me to have said that Astral Alchemist incited harassment against me. You did, didn't you? After all, the conditions are the same. A smaller account quoted a larger account, and the larger account responded, and led a band of ne'er-do-wells against people involved. And even though she has stated she is against harassment in general, Astral Al Alchemist still partook in making fun of me and liked tweets made by my harassers. Okay. I think you... Never mind. I was going to say something that I can't say. I think you should all punish yourselves then. You're all guilty. You're right. You're all right. You should all go away permanently. Meanwhile, during all of this, she made a message clearly directed at Lady Emily. Me, a genius, I want to abuse and harass someone, so I simply buy bot followers so that their follower count is higher than mine, and then I can do no wrong to them. Polikans, it's so good. <laughs> you should punish yourself now. If you just bot follow someone so that their account is higher than yours, you can do anything you want to them. I don't encourage harassment, but you've never asked your followers to stop. All you're doing is proving that you're doing this for attention and not as a quote-unquote victim. It's pathetic. Stop trying to ruin people's lives. We all know you've tried this before. We're not falling for it. The use of scare quotes around the victim makes it clear she does not believe in Lady Emily's victimhood. Is this the power of media literacy? I've heard of it before. Astonishing. At this point, however... Lady Emily was troubled by more than just Chugger Conroy's past misconduct. Now she faces vicious fans who only wished to force a narrative of his innocence via their rampant attacks on her. To misrepresent her in this regard at this point of time is much more disingenuous to what Lady Emily has suffered compared to any previous point of time. What am I reading? Vicious bunnies? I would not. I've been bitten by a rat, but never bitten by a bunny. I imagine being bitten by a bunny would be like a worse rat bite. Hellum, to misrepresent her in this regard at this point of time is much more disingenuous to what Lady Emily has suffered compared to any previous point of time. Okay, uh, the lack of empathy displayed here can only be explained by just never believing anything Lady Emily said, which amounts more to pure, unadulterated hatred of Lady Emily rather than any sense of justice or morality. Judge her to just... They think she's a lying hoe. You don't have to hate someone to think they're a lying hoe, okay? The transphobe. Chill, chat, okay? Relax. There's TOS. Okay? Bunny, do not even try. Don't even try. You will suffer mental damage. 
any word that is used and doesn't make sense to be used there, just replace it with bad. It's much more bad to Lady Emily than other things she has suffered. Speaking of morality, let's talk about someone who Astral Alchemist has been close to since this all began in January. F.W. Klaus. Klaus? Claus. Klaus. She has platformed his own posts on her Twitter account. Ooh. Getting professional help doesn't disprove his innocence of what he is accused of falsely, and given the insanity of the hate mob mob, I don't blame him as the hate mob take sits toll on anyone it's targeted. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to retweet that one. Banger. <laughs> gonna, oh, that's what I'm going to share. <laughs> I do Oh. Klaus says, uh, it's beyond time to take a stand against social media accusations and accusing for clout. Please sign the petition and help keep the fight for justice fair and balanced. Thank you and may Lord Kappa bless. There's a petition? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. What is the petition? Hang on. I want to know what's going on here. I found it. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think this person has... This person has identified a real issue, but has absolutely considered none of the consequences of their solution. Their petition is... Mandate reporting to law enforcement prior to social media accusations. I don't... Look, they're aware of a real issue. Their solution is utterly mental. Oh my god, I just started reading the petition. I don't think Lady Emily... Uh, she called it sexual harassment or whatever. But nothing she provided is sexual harassment, so... There's an example of a situation where this would get very confusing. 181 SIGs. I have personally witnessed the devastating effects of false accusations on social media. Individuals such as Lady Emily have been known to make unfounded allegations that can irreparably damage a person's life. Not only does this harm innocent individuals, but it also undermines the credibility of real victims who are brave enough to come forward. The rise in clout chasing, using sensational and often untrue stories for personal gain or attention, is a concerning trend. Police, he asked me for a picture of my shoes. I agree, Hex. This is a cultural issue to solve. Do not make it illegal to post things that could be considered uh, an accusation of a crime or, or impropriety unless you report it to law enforcement. Yeah, I think this is already covered and it's a cultural issue that people try and pull stuff. I think this would be hell world. Oh, God. It has become increasingly important to ensure that accusations are properly investigated before they are publicized on social media platforms. Oh, so before you post it as well, it would have to be investigated, not just that you report it and then you can post it online. According to a study by the University of California, Los Angeles, false accusations can lead to severe psychological trauma. Yeah, obviously. Thanks for the study. Did you know if someone lies that you're a rapist and everyone believes them, it can take a mental toll on you? Yeah, no shit. Furthermore, these false allegations can undermine genuine cases of abuse or assault by creating skepticism around all claims. To protect both potential victims and those unjustly accused, we propose a legal requirement for all accusers to report their allegations directly to law enforcement agencies prior their disclosure on social media platforms. This will ensure due process is followed and will help maintain the integrity of true victim stories. Right, whatever happens on social media will still happen on social media. This doesn't even solve the problem. You will... Flood police of the problems with schizos, sure, yeah. What happens on social media will still happen, like this. And even if it goes through the legal system and is found to be, um... Found that the accused is not guilty or whatever, it's dismissed, whatever. The social media damage will still be done and they won't change their mind because of the outcome of a case. Have you not noticed they've been primed for that for years and years and years and years and years? We need your support in making this happen. Please sign today. Are there any supportive videos? 
The second reason for signing this is someone saying, sign and share this worthy petition for everyone's sake, especially if you are or if you know someone who is actually innocent of committing a sex crime. Change.org slash abolish the sex offender registry. Right. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if there will be enough signatures to change laws, but it would be nice. False accusations are disgusting. This is relevant how? I think they're just spam accounts. That's how the mob operates. Blah, blah, blah. One of the main reasons the two of them joined together was because they both did not believe Lady Emily's initial post. And they were both fervently of the belief that Chugger was innocent. But why is this relevant and why is this a problem? Before I sent the tweet, the actual alchemist actually... <laughs> is that broat with makeup on? Before I sent the tweet to Astral Alchemist actually uh, responded to, I sent this tweet. Libs of TikTok said, if you call this person a man in Scotland, you can be arrested. How soon till this comes to America? To be fair, that just is a Scottish woman. Uh, <laughs> Tepig says, put your money where your mouth is and stop interacting with this transphobe. And that's in response to Astral Alchemist saying, you're just twits on the internet, you'll never know everything. Stop making excuses and leave people alone. If anyone's going to hold them accountable, let their friends, family, and those involved do it. Not you. Hold. You, okay. Hold, the hold them accountable thing is insanely cringe, unless they're like an active threat, or they're doing something that is uh, of interest, of public interest to stop and whatnot. But even here, there's a difference between uh, an account with a sizable following and influence and some weird guy that doesn't like beautiful, actual women. <laughs> right? There's a difference. Klaus is very clearly transphobic. It's only a matter of when, unless we stop it. I'm so tired of seeing this image everywhere. They really love using it, so I finally decided to fix it. We are not the same. Stop trying to group gays into your trans cult. LGB and TQ+. You don't even need to go that far. Some of them are about who you want to fuck. Some of them are about what you are. These are different things. Perhaps there are many reasons not to just mash them all together into one voting block. So, I mean, beautiful natural coalition. FW Klaus retweeted, Yes, you are brainwashed enough to be trans. Believe anything said by so-called gender experts. To be fair, isn't the idea that everyone's concept of gender is socially con constructed? So whatever you believe you are is a result of your socialization. So it kind of is brainwashing, no? Even on the pro side? Anyway, let's not talk about this too much on Twitch. Wait, yes, you are trans enough to be transgender? Fuck gatekeepers. There are people getting gatekept out of being trans? What? Okay, ma'am. Of course, from my initial post, I did not get any sort of response, and Ashra Alchemist did not indicate she was going to do anything about it. All right, the next day I poked the bear again and brought this back to light. I, I'll repeat my previous take about being trans. Hey, there cannot be any special protections for trans people. If you have to accept that gender is a spectrum, no one is perfectly in line with where they are on the gender spectrum in terms of their gender expression and whatnot. So... Literally everyone's trans, so no one's trans. That's just something everyone is. No special protections. That's the true scum thing. Oh, so this, so this is like um, people saying, I'm trans. But actually it's just like me saying I'm trans. And other people going, what are you doing? You're not. Yes, that kind of gatekeeping. Wow, that sounds horrible and unfair and unreasonable. I did not get any sort of response, and Astral Alchemist did not indicate she was going to do anything about it. The next day, I poked the bear again and brought this back to light. Let's Lee plays. Yo, this person is still showing up in your likes. You should do something about that. Just retard behavior. Note one, both Chugga and Masay have since expressed that they do not wish for anyone to use the, the hashtag anymore. Do not continue using it! The YouTubers said, do not use this hashtag. Do not use it. Obey. Obey. Shut up. I'm so angry at this person's existence. Actual tribal leaders. If you check the timestamps of my posts, Astral Alchemist's quote retweet of my post, and the replies I have received as a result, it was only after I brought attention back to this person's transphobia that Astral Alchemist and not acknowledged my existence, and her followers decided to attack me. 
Transphobia and trans misogyny in particular. Wait, so if, so you're just a little bit more accepting if it's towards a uh, female to male. You're a little bit more accepting of female to male transphobia because it's trans misogyny in particular that has no place. Okay. Has no place in our community. This should be utterly condemned. However, Astral Alchemist has repeatedly chosen to ignore this and still continues to interact with him. Platforming a clear transphobe muddies your credibility. Why? And casts suspicion on your argument when you have spent several months denouncing a trans woman's statements as lies. What if it goes the other way? I, I understand their argument. They're saying, oh, it could undermine your effectiveness at, pro at spreading your opinion because it looks like you just think they're a liar because of your prejudice. Okay, you know what? From that perspective, fair enough. What if they hate trans people because they're exper of their experience with the trans person, though, and the trans person is Lady Emily, for instance? It can flow both ways. It's not like he hasn't ever expressed hateful views before this started. After all, here's him engaging in very clear transphobia, homophobia, and anti-black racism well before any of this began. Would it be fair to call this the mental illness flag? I'd say there's correlation. Especially in this image. Dog, there's a diaper flag in this image. The more this disgusting shit happens, the more pessimistic I become of our country's future. Now, people will say, Oh, what they do in the privacy of their own home was your business. Why am I seeing this? How did I see this? It's not in the privacy of their own home. Gunter Eagleman. Will our veterans get one day? <laughs> Call me silly, but sticking your penis in another man's butthole does not merit a special flag or a month-long celebration. What if you do that and they die? Wait, that happens a lot, doesn't it? I mean, what if through the penetration ex itself, you, like, tear them in half? I think that's an achievement, personally. I've <laughs> said. Oh, whites did not invent slavery. Whites ended slavery. No guilt, no apologies. And of course. Apologize. <laughs> Astral Alchemist, apologize for slavery right now. Astral Alchemist, apologize right now for slavery. We do have Astral Alchemist fans who don't see the severe severity of the issue and do, in fact, support the platforming of a transphobe. Uh, you're the one who started shit, so... Also, said transphobe was one of the few people who didn't take Emily's initial statement as fact. Okay. Did you really just defend a transphobe by saying they didn't believe the trans woman? I'm thinking that was a good argument. Awari da. You're done. This is starting to get annoying. Nice to know you can justify transphobia. Talk to you later. Stop. Okay. Now you've pissed me off. Me, a bisexual androgynous male, is defending someone who supported a meal in the beginning is a transphobe? Who cares? Emily used her platform in an attempt to destroy a meal's life, which was threatened by it. Your argument is invalid. I will defend myself. <laughs> I will defend myself. Watch out. Don't you think there's a correlation between that and him being a transphobe? A correlation? Yeah, sure. Listen, it doesn't matter if they are or not. They use their critical thinking about the situation, not any transphobic agenda. I do not believe that, especially since I spoke to them and there was no critical thinking skill to be found. Haha, <laughs> got him. Sorry to say, but Guy's got something going on with him. This page is great. This document is good just as a curated source of really funny tweets. Guilt by association is cringe, mate. You should stop. I'm not calling her a transphobe. I want her to stop platforming a transphobe. Okay. I'm going to blow your mind. Tepigstan? Through your posting of this document that's been shared by Lady Emily, you've given Klaus more of a platform than anyone else ever has. Uno reverse. Uno reverse. If Klaus is smart, which he isn't, Klaus does not care if you say he's bad. If someone with a bajillion viewers shows their audience me and says I'm bad, I win. As of 420-2024, I have... 
I have absorbed the soul of Adolf Hitler. No, I have seen nothing from either Astro Alchemist or her fans condemning F.W. Klaus and his transphobia or other bigotry. F.W. Klaus. Some random Twitter guy who they retweeted once or twice. Oh, this guy's a YouTuber? Let's hear what he sounds like. He has videos from 13 years ago? When's his latest upload? His last upload is five days ago. And he's been uploading Let's Plays for 13 years on his YouTube channel. And he has 219 subscribers. No! This is his voice? Hey guys, Sonic 7, my first Let's Play, of course, is this, um, starter of my ROM hack series, which is what I plan to start off with. Um, this is, uh, actually something I've been needing for a while, but I don't exactly have the um, right tools to, um, get it done. Anyway, as you can plainly see, yes, this is hacked by... That's 13 years ago. Um... He made a video responding to the document. Here's a pause here. Um, I just want to say a few things before we actually get started with the video. First of all... A Splatoon VTuber? Bro, just DMCA my shit up. With a free uh, trial of TechSmith? Watermark because I'm using the newest iteration of Camtasia, which I haven't bought yet, and I couldn't use my older iteration because that no longer supports sign-in, and that's the version I owned, which was on my older computer, which I had to sell off in order to pay out some stuff. Oh my god. The toxic nature. I think we have to watch him defending himself after we finish this, right? That's actually Hexathian's YouTube channel, just so you know. Right? This section consists entirely of tweets directly pulled from the We Are Chugga Conroy movement. Movement. Hashtag. Stop. From people who may or may not be followers of Astral Alchemist. However, because she is the organizer of the movement, and some of what is said aligns with what she said in the past and present, she is still at least partially responsible for the sentiments expressed. Oh, baby. And outside of this hashtag, there are even more individual posts and replies on all sorts of platforms. There are even multiple streams and videos defending Chugga Conroy from Burn the World 10, an associate of Astro Alchemist. This is insane. She has inspired a wide-ranging movement defending Chugga Conroy while defaming his accusers. I think the accusers themselves did that primarily, though, right? It's this thing where you can't be responsible. You're responsible for everything you put out, unless what you put out results in people saying something towards you. Then you're a victim. After Chugga's full statement in January, everyone was told to treat Lady Emily with respect, so... And yet, we still get plenty of tweets lambast lambasting Lady Emily for false accusations. I got really hungry for a second, and I was going to say lambasting. You ever have that happen? <laughs> Our last post still makes me upset as this whole ordeal was brought to light. There was no accountability from Emily, but basically falsely accusing someone of sexual assault. Real victims already have a hard time coming forward with their stories. Okay, mission accomplished. She falsely accused Chugga of sexual harassment. DMs failed miserably at proving it even showed consent. Yeah, pathetic. Lady Emily sucks. Quick reminder that Chugga, in his apology, told everyone to treat Lady Emily with... I, this keeps popping up over and over again. You're not obeying Chugga. One of my moral axioms is obey Chugga Conroy. Chugga Conroy must be obeyed. There are also tweets downplaying the situation or denying Chugga did anything wrong. People saying he'd be redeemed, they're missing the point, he didn't do anything wrong. Oh, we have Klaus. We have Klaus. Now you're confusing truth and opinion. The truth is Emil did nothing wrong, especially the false accusation against him and the hashtag supports him. He just doesn't want anyone to insult Emily. <laughs> he would not oppose the hashtag, you do. Defending an innocent man is not an insensitive tweet or hashtag. To say it's insensitive says you hate people rightfully coming to his defense. Note. Any expression of innocence for Chugga Conroy is also ac accusing Lady Emily and others with allegations of falsehood in their statements. Also, I don't retract any apology about hurting her or pestering her for a reply. Nothing I've said changes that. Chugga Conroy. In the Bible, I think the Chugga Conroy statements are in blue. Uh, we also just straight up see general hatred towards Lady Emily. I'd say this is specific hatred. 
Of course this has not been entirely localized to Lady Emily. When the Lolly document first came out, we saw people immediately claiming they were faked. I never thought I'd post something else, but now they're accusing Emil of child grooming. They have harder evidence this time, and I'll admit I can't make excuses for what's in the screenshots. They look grossly inappropriate. Too bad it's probably fake. The logs from the Lolly document were later confirmed to be true by Chugger. Yeah, yeah. They didn't claim it's fake. They said it's probably fake. They were they were coping. You got them in coping. You didn't get them in like an evil scheme to convince people of their uh, of them being fabricated documents. You caught someone coping. We also see hate directed towards Massey as well. Good. Purely based off there being nothing of substance in Massey's tweets. Very good. And to bring it back around, we get people who will gladly enjoy and defend the harassment of Lady Emily. Okay. I find it wild that Lady Emily says she's finding it hard dealing with the hate and backlash when she initially sent a ton of hate towards Chugger. He was trending for weeks. Multiple statements, etc., and she can't handle a bit of skepticism. Crazy. Horrifying. This is... some random twitard documenting alleged harassment of Lady Emily, the footman accuser. The first footman accuser, I think. Lady Emily and Lolly deserve the scorn. If there's anyone who deserves to be harassed off the internet, it's them. The former kickstarted this whole thing out of spite, as a repeat instance no less, and the latter lies about everything and misconstrued details. I'm torn on my site, blah, 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 blah. Again, Chugger in his apology told everyone to stop repeating this. I will eat my own skin. Also, in his recent statement, Chugger expressed disappointment towards those who harassed or attacked any of his accusers. Unfortunately, we have seen during the downtime that there has still been negativity and hatred directed toward Lady Emily and others involved. Despite everyone asking for peace and healing. While well, we are with Chugger, Conroy was stated by its supporters to be for supporting Chugger on his journey. In reality, it was a space in which resentment towards Lady Emily and others was allowed to fester, first rearing its head back during the Jane Doe situation and once again when Chugger made his statement in April. <sighs> Conclusion. There's an FAQ. Dude, stop. Stop. FAQ. Stop. Before continuing on, it is only fair to bring up something that Lady Emily on Reddit username obscured to mitigate harassment towards her posted in a Reddit thread. <sighs> I have no idea, TBH. I keep going back and forth on it. Right now, I'm just trying to lay low. I deleted Twitter off my phone, and I'm trying to stay offline as much as possible because it's just... It's just been a lot, if I'm quite honest. And I don't know what else I can say beyond what's already clear, and quite frankly, I'm tired and I'm afraid of anything else happening to me and my family. The only thing tempting me into making a response is the weird false accusations that I doxed people. Because not only is that demonstrably untrue, but considering I was actually doxed and all my personal information was actually placed online... I find it incredibly insulting to have it turned on me. Hmm. Someone posted my dr grandma's address, address and then... Oh my god. Someone posted my grandma's address and then someone showed up and strangled her and her dog. But what really gets to me is the hypocrisy. Uh, but more than anything, I just want this to be over. Just like back in March, she still faces loads of harassment and hatred from people and only wants to find peace in this situation. She expresses feeling unsafe online. L... L, and holding back as a result. Many people in recent days have been bomb... Have <laughs> been bombasting? Have been bombasting Lady Emily to get Chugger... <laughs> Am I the idiot? Is that a real participle? And why would you use that? Nope, it's... it's. I presume they mean lambasting, yeah. Lady Emily for trying to get Chugger killed. They've been, they've been hyping him up. They've been hyping him up. By claiming she incites her fans to harass Chugger. However, it is also clear these same people are totally fine with doing the same to Lady Emily. Right, that has no bearing on whether they're correct or not. Whatsoever. Despite Chugger's multiple statements condemning it. While I do not condone what has happened to Chugger in the aftermath of the accusations, I do not believe the same has to be done to Lady Emily as some sort of retribution. Therefore, all of the hatred, all the vitriol, and all the harassment towards her needs to cease immediately. I can hear Chris Chan's voice reading this in my head. A failure to do so, and a failure to further condemn it, is only justifying their attempts to push a trans woman to an early grave. I don't think they really need to do anything <laughs> based on my uh, my knowledge of the situation. And unfortunately... 
From everything that we have seen the past several months, Astral Alchemist is at the center of this hate campaign against Lady Emily. I fully condemn her and her community for their rampant hate speech and harassment of Lady Emily and those who express differing views on the situation from them, such as myself. I condemn them for their opposition to me. I am not calling for a continuation of this cycle of harassment. Trust me, I played The Last of Us 2 and I understand. <laughs> but there needs to be full accountability for all of the pain and fear perpetuated by this hashtag. And we need to model for every fan out there that we will not accept such abhor abhorrent conduct in the greater The Runaway Guys community. We are the enforcers. Our community is not a place for hate. It is time we do better for ourselves and others. And to Astral Alchemist, congratulations! <laughs> congratulations! Like in Mario Kart 64, you and your followers have become just as, if not more, hateful and toxic as you claim Lady Emily and her followers to be. Please recognize that. You... Wait, you're, you're leaving it open to uh, Astral Alchemist has only become as bad as Lady Emily. Nice. Please recognize that. Ask yourself how you came to act so out of step with your purported values and change your behavior to match them. This is the kind of person who mods you on Reddit. I would be shocked if they are not a Reddit mod on at least uh, one, one sub forum. FAQ, what is your stance on Chugga Conroy? Do I want to read this? <sighs> My stance on Chugga Conroy is the same as I had back in his statement in January. Glad he's getting help for his issues and he recognizes he faces, and I wish him well on his mental health journey. However, nothing takes away from the fact that he himself acknowledges he has hurt people beforehand and has disavowed anyone who speaks up to harass or attack those. Blah, blah, blah. He doesn't deserve the vitriol. There's no raising the hurt. Whether or not any individual person should choose to follow him after that, or if he even wants to have the public eye again, only time can tell. Yeah. Mm hmm. Perpetuate further fear of autists? That's based. Oh, let's go for this one. But Lady Emily didn't experience sexual harassment. Why are you trying to defend this liar? Sexual harassment is a complicated topic that does not have a clear black and white distinction. Many people have different standards for how they treat people and how they allow themselves to be treated. As such, different people's perspectives as to what constitutes sexual harassment does not always look the same. Trying to invalidate Lady Emily's experience simply because you do not agree with it is misogynistic and victim-smearing. In this particular experience, I can see her perspective as to how the situation was perceived as sexual, even if that wasn't what Chugga intended. Can you, can you see it being non-consensual? Unfortunately, it was a situation where two people did not see the same, did not see the same thing and did not act perfectly. Can you see Emily repeatedly saying they're cool with it? Over and over and over and over and over. What do you personally want out of this? Hmm. I wish only for the greater the runaway guy's community to hold itself responsible for the vitriol poured out against Lady Emily. Okay, it's been clear from what happened in March and at this current time that allowing these malicious sentiments to fester among our... We need a purge! Sentiments to fester amongst our community will only invite more people to be attacked. Credible. For the attacks to become more virulent. And ultimately virulent. Do you guys say virulent or virulent? I've heard it said both ways. And ultimately cause those from the outside looking in to harshly judge Nintendo Capri Suns, Chugga Conroy's, and Proton John's communities, and possibly their own characters. What? We have a lot of young and impressionable people in this community. We need to be able to model acceptable behavior. We want to mold the young fans into true followers of Chugga. This is horrifying. But because we collectively have not condemned the style of speech found rampant across hashtag we are with Chugga and adjacent spaces, they will wrongly learn that they can also engage in this sort of toxic and hateful behavior without repercussions. They believe they're raising the future generation. It's wrong to be in that position. If this is happening, if you are raising kids online, it's wrong that that's happening no matter what you're instilling in them. The Throne Controllers Coliseum is starting in the upcoming weeks. Not just people in the core community, but people outside of it will be coming to watch. 
and they will have a peek into the toxicity that is plague, has been plaguing the space for months. We need to nip this in the bud and start doing better for everyone involved and for the greater health and wellness of the community. We includes everyone. Content creators, fans, anyone with a voice. Okay. Why does it matter that someone not Astro Alchemist is friends with is transphobic? First of all, that's a nice step. I, would, I wouldn't say they're even friends. Interesting. First of all, there's no need to try to defend a transphobe in this community. There are many transgender people that have watched the runaway guys. <laughs> runaway guys. And therefore, this is not a place where we need to invite blatant transphobia. But if there weren't, you could? Is that the implication? Wait, why are you not blurring out anyone's screen names? You cut off Lady Emily's screen name. Everything that I have retrieved has been from my own Twitter account. From looking publicly into people's posts likes, and the WeAreChuggerConroy hashtag. Anything in the public sphere, in my opinion, is fair game. As these people felt the same when they posted them. I do not condone harassment. Yeah, but you cut off the name from Lady Emily's. You don't believe this. You just say in the moment. I do not condone harassment of anyone whose tweets are included in this document. However, I believe their hateful and shameful rhetoric needs to be identified and verifiable. For what purpose? I also experienced this. What you're saying is wrong. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And that's the end. Yeah, Hex. That's what I'm saying. It's a whole bunch of people. There are two levels of everything about you being down to self-interest. There's constructing a position on the foundation of self-interest. That's one thing. And then there's this, which is hastily trying to slap together something coherent in the moment, depending on what's coming at you at that given moment. It's really pathetic. Right. The transphobe made a video response. Let's see how long we can tolerate this squeaker. Now, bear in mind that this person was uploading to YouTube 13 years ago. I presume they were at least 10 years old then, so they're at least like mid-twenties now, I think so. I could be wrong, I suppose. Secondly, uh, here's a right. here. Um, I just want to say a few things before we actually get started with the video. First of all, uh, forgive the Camtasia watermark because I'm using the newest iteration of Camtasia, okay. which Thanks I haven't that. bought yet, and I couldn't use my older iteration because that no longer supports sign-in, and that's the version I ah. own, which was on my older computer, which I had to sell off in order to pay. <laughs> Ausred, this is the guy. This is the guy. This is the transphobe who needs to be shot down. They've been uploading Let's Plays for 13 years. Hey guys, I'm like this with my first Let's Play. Of course, this is um starter of my ROM hack series, which is what I plan to start off with. This is the this is the dangerous transphobe that needs to be shut down and deplatformed. Yes. Hey, awesome stuff. Secondly, um, <clears throat> I guess there's going to be a um, random cut in, in uh, the middle of the recording because. It limits how long you can use it for a single clip, yeah? That's what I'm betting. I got interrupted. Because, oh, of okay. course, Never living mind. on my own doesn't make me immune to interruptions. Yeah. So there's going to be uh, just a random cut because of that. So I just wanted to explain that. So, yeah. With that being said, let's get on with the video, shall we? The Binding of Isaac boss music? That wasn't me. That wasn't me. Okay, greetings YouTube. Um, okay. Kinda didn't want to post a video like this, but it's kinda- of <laughs> This is fucking absurd. This is unbelievable. Oh, the Splatoon- The Splatoon VTuber with the giant trial version watermark with the most hilarious voice I've heard in my life, starts playing the Binding of Isaac Rebirth boss music in the background while he responds to a document demanding that a hashtag to defend a Nintendo YouTuber disassociate from him because he's a dangerous transphobe. I'm gonna have a stroke. I'm gonna have a stroke. Point where I absolutely have to respond. Because some of the shit that's been said is... And he's drunk, I guess. Pretty ridiculous. Especially 
from those in the alphabet fucking mafia. You know the types that I oppose on a regular basis. Especially on places like Twitter. Twitter! Yeah, you hear me right. On fucking Twitter. The unhinged Looney Tunes who actually believe that men can be women and... I, I disavow, that's obviously true, of course. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <clears throat> they actually think men belong in biological women's faces. It's sickening. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. And the worst part about this is they know both- I've never been around a biological woman, and I never will be. Fucking well. They are doing everything they can. Oh no, we're mocking retard now, says Joppa. What do you mean? What do you mean now? Also, this is highly relevant. This individual features heavily in the document that Lady Emily shared. This is the transphobe mascot of defense.